everybody, this is Tim Wolf. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the TBX tone control that is in this position of this guitar. This is a 97 Fender Strat Plus, which was a model that they made from about 87 to 97, plus or minus a year. And that guitar was the best guitar that they made, except for the custom shop during that time period. It was right after the post CBS years. About 85 is when Fender was taken from the conglomerate or the, the corporate owners. And a lot of guitar players, Fender enthusiasts, decry the roughly 20 years from 65 to about 85 that CBS had Fender and consider that those years kind of the lost years although there were some good, good guitars made during that time. And then after it came back into more private hands or hands that were supposedly more concerned about the quality of the product, wanted to rebuild the name brand and make better guitars. And after a couple of years, they decided to come out with the Strat Plus, which was the top of the line, the flagship, except for custom shop guitars. And they had a lot of third party parts on it, which was rather unique at the time. They did some collaborations with Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton, and there was an Eric Clapton signature model that originally had the Lace Sensor pickups on it, developed by Don Lace. You can see that these are not your typical, you can't see the poles. This is a completely different kind of design. The magnets are oriented in a different way. It doesn't create hum, and it also doesn't pull on the strings because a traditional pickup will have a magnetic pull that actually pulls on the strings and will decrease the sustain. I love the lay sensors, but purists decry them because they don't look or sound exactly like, they don't work exactly like the traditional pickups. But anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about the TBX tone control, which is in this position on this guitar. And it, I think it was on every one of the Strat Pluses, and it's still in the Fender lineup today on some of their American made Strats. And it is a passive tone control. This is not an active guitar. It originally was put on the Eric Clapton signature model, which was an active guitar, and they carried it over to the passive models, and I believe it was on the Strat Pluses for the entire run of approximately 10 years. And so on this guitar, the these two pickups, the middle pickup and the bridge pickup, are wired to this tone control. So it's a, two stack pots on top of each other. The bottom pot with the stem facing up, the diagram's upside down on the screen, but the bottom pot is a traditional high pass filter pot with a 250K resistance pot on it. And so it's a high pass filter, which is a typical pot that we're all familiar with, a typical uh, treble control, and typically a single, single coil pickup will have a 250K pot on it. That's pretty common. And then stacked on top of that, is a one meg resistance pot that actually goes in the opposite direction. And it's a low pass filter instead of a high pass filter. And so that it cuts the base. So a lot of people think the TBX is a treble boost, but that's not exactly accurate. What Fender says about it, this detented stacked 250K one meg control enhances your tonal palette without the use of a battery. From zero to five, the TBX is your standard tone control. But once you pass five, you start to decrease the resistance, which allows more bass, treble, presence, and output to flow to your amp. And a lot of people think of the TBX is a treble boost, but that's not quite accurate. You can't really boost because it's all passive. It consists of a double gang pot, the stack, which we talked about, a stereo pot with different values, the 250K and the one meg, a resistor and a capacitor that cuts the bass and the treble out of the circuit, depending where you turn it. It can add some new dimension to your solo parts, especially if you're going for those bright, crystal clear Jeff Beck tones. Let's work on this pickup right here, the middle pickup. I've got it in the middle position here. And so let's go all the way counterclockwise, typically off on your normal tone, high pass filter tone control. Not much treble there. Now let's go all the way to just before the deep hit, detent. Went to the D10 and I backed it off just to hear. Now I'll go to the D10, which takes it completely out of the circuit. Now I'm going just past the D10 to like 5.5.
So that's on the middle pickup. Let's do the same thing on, on this pickup. Let's go all the way to zero. Still a lot of high tones because it is the bridge pickup, but let's go to 4.9 just before the detent. some presence boost what can you hear put some in the comments I actually like this one a lot so let's go back to the fourth position which is the out of phase sound What are some of the mods that some people are doing? It has a resistor and a capacitor. You can change the value of the resistor. And a pretty common mod is the resistor is an 82 K, uh, kilo ohms or K ohms carbon film resistor. That was actually chosen for the Eric Clapton signature model, which were active pickups. And at least some people are of the opinion that actually is a tone suck. For a passive guitar pretty common mod i haven't done it yet on this guitar but i do plan on doing it now that i become hip to this done some research is to take that 82k ohm resistor out and replace it on the stock tbx control the 82k ohm resistor is always in the circuit working as a shunt no matter where the knob is set even with the pot fully open the tbx control was originally developed to work with active circuitry such as the eric clapton mid boost where an 82k ohm resistor has no deleterious effect on the tone, but an 82k ohm shunt resistor is something you don't want in a guitar with high impedance passive circuitry. After the Clapton signature Strat Fender just stuck with it, Derek Wacker, who wrote this article, says heaven knows why. Modify it to say a 220k ohm, and I'm going to try that, and I'll probably do another video and see how that changes it. And what that does, it makes the transition better between the two pots with no abrupt change in tone or apparent volume as the circuit is handed off from one pot to the other. A lot of pro players prefer the slightly modded version over the stock configuration. Another thing you can do, it has a capacitor on the B pot, which is the standard pot, which is the lower pot. Another thing you can do is you can take the resistor and replace it with a capacitor, a second capacitor, which will act as a base cut capacitor and determine the base cut frequency. Treble cut capacitor from pot B stays untouched and determines the treble cut frequency. You can try different values and cap types. And the basic rule, the higher the value, the lower the frequency and the greater the effect. Also the lower the value, the higher the frequency and less the effect. Instead of a resistance on pot A, you can connect a second capacitor and start with a value of 2200 picofarad all the way up to 4700 or i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do but I, I will make another video about that so this is a really interesting mod that fender has and you can order it at aftermarket the same sort of thing the tbx tone control has some interesting variations i try to demonstrate to you what do you think make comments about it do you have any experience with the tbx tone control i'd love to hear from you that's all for now happy playing we'll see you next time hey everybody this is tim wolf thank you so much for watching my video please go to the link down below in the description there's a bentley link listen to my music at spotify i appreciate it very much it means a lot to an artist if you follow them if you would be kind enough to like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends Finally, be sure to subscribe. And also there are other videos on this screen that you can watch. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.